Hi guys, what is up, Adam here, and today I'm just going to quickly show you how um, I go about editing my flash toy photography to make it look like the flash, you know, with his lightning and so on and so forth. So I've got a picture here of uh, just the flash on a playing back uh, background. I'm going to go through, over a few things with, you know, lightning. Uh, they're all mainly just PNG images. I should have a download link in the description below. Also, while you're down there, you may as well smash the like button and subscribe. I'm going to be doing these as often as they get recommended to me on uh, Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at iftoystalk. So, um, I'm going to start off with this image. And what I do is I make a duplicate layer straight away because I like to make sure that I have a backup in case I do something wrong. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to press Z and zoom down over here. I want to get rid of these. These are just a stand that I've used. I'm going to use uh, whatever this tool is called. I don't know the ins and outs of Photoshop. This is just kind of what I've learned by myself as I've gone along. And I don't want these. So you could clone these, but I prefer to um, be lazy about it. And if you right click, press fill and on this drop down menu, press content aware, press OK, kaboom, gone. A little bit of a bulge there. Um, but that's fine. I'll just leave that. Um, I'm going to do the same down here as well. Now, th with this one, as you can see, it's kind of just added more of himself to it, so we don't want to do that. So what I've done is, I've left it selected, and we're going to go over to the clone, which is over the top and the left. It's just black background, so it's dead easy to do on this picture. There we go, sorted. Now, let's deselect that. So to fit, there we go, he is no longer being held up by a SH Figure Arts stand. Now, we're going to start getting some lightning in. Um, as I say, download link in the description below. I've got many different lightning. I actually got these off a different person. These aren't mine. Um, but yeah. So, what I like to do first, I like to use this one here to go on the chest. Now, <clears throat> Uh, as you can see, it's not transparent. So you want to change it to a screen mode. Then you want to rasterize it. Let me select me brush. Rasterize it. You can either right click and hit rasterize layer. And it's done. Or you can just press anywhere with a brush or a razor. And it asks you, you know, what tells you that it's a smart object and it must be rasterized. So you just press OK. So and then you want to press Control and L. It's going to bring you to the levels, and when you're in the levels, I just like to bring this down a little bit, and it gets rid of that black. Well, actually, bring it down quite a little, quite a big bit. Yeah, and there you go. He is just... Just blue lightning. I'm going to press Ctrl and T, and I want to put this where we want. Now, I feel like this might have been made full of flash, this bit of lightning, because it fits really well. So what I do is I angle it roughly how I want, right? So it's there. It's obviously, doesn't that doesn't fit? Obviously. So we want to right click and warp it, and just nudge bits, just so the, just to say overlapping the shoulders and the sides, right, like that. And it also kind of makes it look like it's actually forming around his body, which is what you want. And then after you've done that, you want to add a layer mask. I'm going to zoom in to these uh, clipping bits here. The brush. I'm just going to use a harder brush than that actually. I'm just going to literally snip it off. But then maybe use a softer one, smaller to just such as that. I'm going to zoom in over here as well. And this one doesn't seem to be that's bad, it is way over itself. I like to keep the glow just on Barry. We'll say Barry, because the flash is uh, annoying to say after so many times. Even though that's his name. There we go. As you can see, nothing much to do down here. This is all pretty much fine. And there you go, you've got a layer of lightning on Barry's chest. Let's go. That spell. Done. Now we're going to add another one. Replace. What should we go with? Uh, what maybe? Well, whatever maybe is, it doesn't work. 
<laughs> uh, this one looks good. It's just a streak of lightning. Uh, again, make that into a screen. Rasterize the layer. Level it just to get rid of that obnoxious claw. Obviously, this is a different color blue, but we'll fix that shortly. And this is just a dead simple one. It's just gonna we're just gonna whack it like here. Let's make, let's make it connect. There you go. Look, it's part of that bit of lightning now, <clears throat> and it's gonna go off to his left. Now I'm actually gonna warp this just a little bit just to kind of stick closer to the arm, like so. Now, it's clearly a different colour blue, so we're going to control on U to get to the uh, hue and saturation. We're just going to tweak the colour a little bit until we get something more to what we want. Let's get, uh, there we go. Maybe it might need a bit more saturation, which we... There we go. Well, that's, the closer the better, obviously. Um, the closer the better to the colour. But I've, when I edit my photos, I always add a, uh, an, a colour look out, a colour look up to it anyway, so it doesn't really make much of a difference um right so i want to put some lightning going up this arm now so we need to place another one uh, like this one. Oh, this one look good on his face i think i'm just kind of making this up as i go along and just telling you what i'm doing um level down sometimes i use bits of these for example like this doesn't look good anywhere, really. But that bit, this bit here, looks okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whack an eraser out. And, uh... Just lovely uh, delete all this. I don't need it. No, obviously it's not perfect, but nothing ever is. And I'm not finished. <laughs> so... If I can line this up right, I can get that bit with his thumb and the rest with his wrist. Let's warp this. And then maybe, if that doesn't look great, you can just scale it. It's a bit big, so we'll scale it down a little bit. That looks loads better now. This is all your own thing. Like you might not think that looks good, but I think that looks okay. Now I'm just going to have to lay a mask and get rid of some of that extra extra glow we don't need. There we go. Um, the lightning bolt looks a bit a bit meh, doesn't it? It doesn't look very, you know, lightning bolty. Oh, actually, I'll put this on his, his face. This is one, I like to use this to come from his eye. I'm going to rasterize it straight away. Screen. Control L. Turn this down a little bit. That'll do. Get it to be the right ish colour. Now, I only ever use shots of the flash from, that are further away. So look, I never really have to worry much about his face. But this is quite a close up, so I want to. I've probably zoomed in too far. I want to um, be able to see his eye, but I want it to look like the lightning's coming from his eye. That might be all right. Let's uh, warp this. It's quite difficult to get bits you want to. I can't try and get that end just to curl, but it's just not. So what I might do is just leave it like that zoom on in that layer mask go in now I've got a clock again to, to run against it's fucking good right right lightning bolt let's see what we can do with this one this looks like it might be more of a trail so let's flip it Ooh, I can blend that. Like that, can I? 
And don't be afraid to just copy and paste. Put it somewhere else. You know, it looks completely different down here. I'll move it up. So, just... I'm just going to hide that one for a second. And then we're going to uh, zoom into that neck. Old layer mask going on. Just soften it up so it looks like it's coming off his neck and not. And down here there was a piece in his arm that I didn't like. <clears throat> this bit here is a bit of a... Right, and now the other piece that we moved down here. Gonna, that don't really think that needs much doing to it, but I'm going to. Oh, the wrong one selected. Stretch out a little bit. There we go, let's... Uh, you know, I don't think like, I need to do much to this one. I just need to... Um, mask it a bit uh, also it looks a bit connected because lightning tends to do that as I'm aware right still haven't done that lightning bolt I'm going to try and do something to that lightning bolt I don't know what I might use the same one I used on his face unless I can get this to fit let's have a skeggedy What's that one? Oh, look at that. That looks like it fits alright, doesn't it? It's kind of fitted with that little bit there. Kind of like it rolls up the lightning bolt, which is nice. I just need to... Uh, Zoom in down here and lighten this bit up. Oop. Not that much. Turn the opacity down. Smash in. Now, it just looks like he's stood still. So I'm going to group all the lightning layers together. Control and G. Let's name it Effects. Now, I want to make this look like he's moving. Actually, I just realised I forgot to do something. Which one of these is a tie? I usually name these and I haven't. It's this one. Right, let's zoom into his eye. It looks silly. There we go. Alright, so. That's what happens when you don't name things, you forget where things are. So if I press Control, Alt, Shift, and E all at the same time, it makes a completely new layer. Of everything combined, and which which is what I want. Because now I'm going to add some motion blur. And then that blur. So if you can hear any clickety clacking, blur, motion blur. Now it's moving sideways, so that wants to be no, nope, wants to be zero. And let's just ramp it up. That looks like sight in it. Well, we don't want too much. Get in. That'll do. Now, this is obviously a lot easier because it's on a plain black background. This would be a lot trickier if you had buildings and such in the background. But I'm just going to layer mask this. Let me brush out. And we want to see some things. I want to see his face. Um, and we want to see the lightning bolt. And we want to see a bit of this, uh, this, this hand. And arm. There we go. Now it looks like he's moving. A little bit like that um, Flash TV show poster. Um, not poster, you know what I mean. And I can ramp this up a little bit more and see what it looks like. Looks okay. Maybe a bit much. Yeah, a bit much. Let's uh, just add a little bit on, but not that that much. Let's move this over here so we can see. Yeah, that looks alright. So there we go, we've got his face uncovered. We're going to a little bit more. 
his neck and his arm. So now it looks like he's running. He's moving. And then if you see my previous one, you know I like to I like smoke. Um, and sometimes I don't manage to actually use proper smoke. I want to use the same smoke I used last time. From here on out it's just optional, like I don't know how to get brushes on it here. That obviously looks a bit shit. I'm just gonna. <laughs> He's leaving smoke. There we go. Look at that. Now I'm gonna add one of these. Let's have a scroll through. I like the blue on this one. It looks a bit like the Schneider cut. Let's turn it. Actually, maybe it is a bit too dark. Let's. Keep going, let's keep going. Right. I like this one. Compared to the other one though, it's a bit more Justice League, which we don't like. Cool. Um, obviously this is just a really simple way of doing things. Like, if you would spend an infinite amount of time on this, it'll look infinite, infinite amounts better and speak. Um, and there we go. Before, after for after literally as simple as dragging things on now as i said as i said earlier i'm not used to doing these types, this type of shot with the flash as close as this is i like to do it like him running past the camera and he's like mid frame not the full frame if that makes sense so this is what i'd have ended up like this but i have some other shots on instagram of him not quite as close to the camera which look a bit better than this there's a bunch of other stuff you can do um, like for example, I have PNG of, of dust. Here we are, look. It's a PNG of dust. So I'm just going to fit this to screen. I want it over way. There we go. And I'm just going to fill the screen with this. There we go, make that be screen. There we go. And then let's add motion blur to that. There we go. And if we add a layer mask, we can just get rid of some that don't make sense, like these two. There we go. These appear. Two just about and around. There we go. Now it looks like he's moving past stuff. There's some actually that I don't like. <laughs> they look a bit straight, so I'm just gonna quickly wrap a uh, warp on. It's not letting me because it's not a rasterized image. Let me uh, rasterize it and try again. I'm gonna whack a warp on and make like a wavy effect. Let that sink in. This laptop does not get used very often for stuff like recording and editing at the same time, so it's not used to it. Got some. There we go. Look at that. Done. Wham bam. Thank you, man. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something. If you have, please remember to smack that like button and subscribe and feel free to literally copy everything i've just done um as i say hopefully if i don't forget there should be a link in the description for the lightning png images the ones that i've used in this uh video um and yeah follow me on instagram and tiktok at if toys talk i'm on tw twitch as well with the very big fish I do a weekly quiz over there every thursday half past eight gmt and i hope to see you next time comment below let me know what you think i should do next and peace